it is Monday. Where my phone at? It's Monday, August 15th. It is 9.49 p.m. Yeah. So, last week, or rather, yeah. Last week's vlog. So, yeah. So, last week, I just, like, skipped the vlogging because I was prepping to go on vacation. I was supposed to be on vacation this week. But, you know, we had a little hiccup. So now I'm picking up the week after. So you'll see this video next Monday. Yeah, because I'm a week behind. So yeah. So I just decided to kind of just like chill. I didn't want to vlog because I wanted to get stuff done and I didn't want to have to really focus. Oh, that's the glare from the window. I didn't really want to have to focus on vlogging. Pretty much i wanted to get stuff done i procrastinated to the very last minute to to do everything when i'm talking everything i'm talking like finishing my nails up at two o'clock in the morning we we were supposed to we left the house at five in the morning it's because the flight uh was supposed to take off at nine so everything was last minute i'm like i'm gonna do my feet when we get there i'm gonna do my nails when we get there and so long story short I was going to the DR. That was a surprise. So I was going to the DR. But not an even bigger surprise is I didn't go to the DR. So we booked through American Airlines. And when we called American Airlines, we was talking to them and stuff. And we was like, you know, we don't need a passport for the for um my son. My son is eight. And they were like, oh, no, you don't need a passport. You know, he doesn't need a passport until he's like 13. Now, the lesson that I've learned through this is double check for yourself so we all get to the airport and they're like oh you know well because of covid they require you and i don't know if this has always been this way but this was the lady at the desk she said because of covid um when you go into the dr they require you to have a passport if you don't have like a family member that's from the dr and if your pass if your birth certificate is like a u.s birth certificate you have to have a passport so it was it was a family trip so everybody was like okay well you know if Candace and Aiden can't go mainly Aiden because he hasn't been able to travel well I haven't felt comfortable traveling with him since COVID started so the last time that my baby actually had got on a plane to actually go out of town was when he was five his birthday's in November so it's like that January COVID has started up and he hasn't been anywhere he hasn't been on a plane since so I was very excited to be going out of town with him i was very excited that he was going to get to you know get back on a plane he's been he's been flying since before he was one so it's something that he's very comfortable with and so he was looking forward to it as well so well we found out that he needed a passport so he couldn't go so of course because he couldn't go i was like well i'm not going because i have to i have to watch my child now could i have called his dad and taken him to his dad's house and went on the trip with my family yes i could have but I didn't want to do that because I really wanted, although I knew I was going to be able to spend time with everybody in my family, I really, really wanted to create memories with my baby for this trip. And so when I found out that he needed a passport, I really just, I was completely out of, <coughs> well, God damn. I was really completely like out of the whole traveling mode because I'm like, he can't go. He took it exceptionally well. He was just like, okay, well, I can't go. So what we doing now? So at first we decided, we were like, okay, well, we're going to find another destination to go to. But if you guys travel, um, anybody that travels knows that a lot of times, and specifically this time, when you're trying to travel last minute, get like last minute airline tickets, last minute hotels, last minute resorts, the price is going to be sky high because now you're paying for the convenience of booking it at the last minute. So I told uh, my mom and him, I was just like, y'all go and me and Aiden will just stay back. You know, it'll be cool. We'll just go back to the house. We um parked at the airport. So we're like, you know, give me the keys. I'll drive back. And, you know, when it's time for y'all to come back, I'll just come pick y'all up. And so um they didn't want to do that. So literally for the next like 40 minutes, we're like, me and my mom had got because I told my mom, I'm like, I really feel like y'all should go. And she's like, okay. We got to talk to everybody else because everybody else is like, no, we're not going. We're just not going because Aiden can't go. You can't go. We're not going. So um, we literally 
all the way to like the elevators almost back to the car and I was just like me and my mom were just like listen she's okay with us just going I'm like I'm okay with y'all just going Aiden was like I'm okay with y'all just going you know y'all y'all deserve to go just like you know we deserve to go but I don't have a passport this this is my eight-year-old I kid you not he's like I don't have a passport you know so y'all should go you know don't not go because I can't go he's like I'm I'm gonna be okay I'm okay with not going because I know that um I'll go a different time you know I'll, I'll go a different time and so right when we got to like almost to the elevators they decided like okay we're gonna go so then we said our goodbyes or I see you later and everybody you know that was going on the trip they turned around and they went back towards you know the check-in so me and my baby left and we went home um, I called his dad in the car and um he was asleep so one, when I talked to him I'm like oh my god you sleep I'm like oh did you sleep like call me when you wake up so once I talked to him when he woke up I told him I'm like you know he need a passport I don't want to have this situation again we got trips that's planned in the future that's gonna be out of the country that I want him to go to so I didn't want to run into this again so he was just like fine cool you know whenever you are ready just let me know and we could go together to do the passports and stuff so um we decided we came back home so we pretty much just been chilling we, we were supposed to leave on the 13th. What was that, Saturday? I want to say it was a Saturday. My concept of time is just like all over the place now. Yeah, the third... Yeah, the 13th was Saturday. So we didn't go Saturday. So I just been chilling at the house all last week. I was ripping and running. I did my hair. I know my edges look a little crazy because... Baby, this 4C, I have yet to find an edge control. I have yet to find a gel. I have yet to find a spritz. They keep these edges down. Anybody in the comments know how to get these edges down and in control on 4C hair? Please put it in the in a description, in the, not, in the comments below. Because when I tell y'all, I braided my hair with braid gel. That worked pretty good. Not on my edges, though. Not on the front edges, but like the rest of the hair, it worked fine. I've tried... um the the black edge control i don't know where it's at it's not around here nowhere i might like put a picture up or something like that i tried the black edge control and that black edge control it works for a little bit of time but my issue with that is like it's black so like if you rub against something it'll rub off on your hair and that is like a no-no so then your hands will be black like if you rub on your hair like if you gotta itch your hair you'll get it it'll get under your nails and be black and it just look dirty and i don't like that but I have yet to find something um, that actually like lays my edges down and my edges stay laid down for any amount of time. It, 15 minutes. Give, give, give us just the 15 minutes to lay down. So no. So this is my first time doing um, feed-in braids. And when I tell you guys my hair has grown so freaking much since I did my big chop like a year or two ago. My hair grows fairly fast. So I was really, really excited about the growth, but I'm like, I cannot wear my hair like this out of town because baby, it's, it's 4C hair and she be doing what she want to do. I love my 4C hair, but you, you have to, you got to respect 4C hair and understand that humidity is going to take you out every time. So these are the braids. I did just regular um black this is my very 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 first time doing feed-ins um ever so these are pretty long like i'm 5 11 and these come like past my butt so i'm gonna put the i'm either gonna put a picture up right here of the video and put the information in the description link or i'm just gonna put the information in the description link of the no i am gonna put i'm i'm gonna figure out how to get a picture up but i followed this lady's i'm gonna get y'all her name because sis 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 did it right she did it right so she had two videos she had one video that was for parting and then the other video was for how to actually put the um braids in like actually how to do the feed in braids let me see jumbo feed in braids so y'all the room looks a mess this space is where i did my hair and so i actually cleaned this space off because um i'm downstairs and my baby is upstairs and so i didn't know whether or not he was going to be comfortable sleeping upstairs with nobody up there with him like nobody in the room but he's been 
very fine about it. So I was making sure like I had space on the couch, like the couch was cleared off. So like if he wanted to come and sleep on the couch, he come sleep on the couch because that's my bed. That's my motherfucking bed. So I waited for it to load now, y'all. I don't know. The internet been acting a little wonky lately. And I don't want to say it's the government because I'm going to sound like a true conspiracy theorist but i do be kind of i feel like the government really hate that people be on the internet and that people be making bank off the internet like they do but anyway so i actually followed this lady's directions um on her youtube page she made two videos one video was for the pardon for large not list box braids or large not list braids and then the second video was how to actually install them her name is, let me see, it's every time, why is it, why does it get Adasha Miriam? So let me, I'm going to show y'all her picture, because when I tell y'all, sis, sis came through in a clutch. So these are the videos that I saved, hopefully y'all can see them. Hopefully y'all can see that. These were the two videos. So one video was for pardon. And then the other video was how to actually put the braids in. So this is her channel. Really, really good video. Really, really good video, you guys. So I was able to follow it to a T. I always have issues parting my hair. Specifically, um, the front of my hair. Because... Put, specifically the, the whole head you know but the back of my head I, i'll have like a better grasp on it i had like a real like crazy setup i had like boxes set up and stuff like that for me to actually part the back of my head but when it comes to the front of my head because i know like when i used to go to the braid shops they used to braid the hair they used to take smaller pieces in the front and braid it so i end up doing that stupid stuff for my hair and it's gonna be right it's all about evenness so she has a really really good video on how to do these feed-in braids um, it was super easy for me. A lot of people in the comments was having issues with it, but it was super easy for me. So yeah, y'all, um, I was a bit bummed out. Um, you know what? I'm not even, I was, I was not bummed out that I couldn't go on a trip. And that was so weird because normally I'm very, um, excited about trips and not that i wasn't excited about the trip because i was excited about this trip but it was almost like it was just like something about about it was just like i'm like you know i'm not excited like i normally be like i was very happy that i was gonna be spending time with my family but you know you get all that like all that excitement the butterflies in your tummy and stuff i didn't have that and i'm like oh wow you know that's that's real different so maybe my my emotions was preparing myself for the for the letdown and not being able to go. I don't know. I'm just really really happy that my son took it so well. When I tell you he had no problem, and everybody else, all the adults were like, he can't go. I'm like he can't go, y'all. He can't. I'ma stay back with him. His uncle, my brother, who's 20, he was like, I'll stay back with him and you could go on a trip. And I'm like, no. You should go on a trip. I'm like, this is my child. So, you know, I, I want, I if, if he can't go on a trip, I don't want to go on a trip. And they was like, if y'all can't go on a trip, we don't want to go on a trip. So it was like that type of thing. But I was glad that we was able to, me and my mom, and I was I was glad that me and my mom were actually able to talk everybody into actually going. Because at first, my mom was like, okay, we're fine. You know, we'll just... We'll just leave. But the thing about it is, it's like the way that the hotel was staying was set up. So we were staying at, well, they stayed at the the Lopezon Costa Bavaro Resort Spa and Casino in Costa Bavaro Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Is that right? Something like that. So the way that it was, was like, they were like, okay, we, we bought the flexible free cancellation. I always do the flexible. I always like to do free cancellation. I don't like to do the, like the pay now where you don't have the option to get like a refund or something like that. If something happens because of issues like this. So I always like to give myself a little bit of buffer when it comes to that. 
So like the room that I have, I get y'all the information now because I ain't go. So the room that I had got for me and Aiden was the unique one bedroom tropical suite. And that came out to be like $16.74 for, and we were going to, we were staying from the 13th through the 17th. So, um, that's. It, it, it added up to like $16.74 and some $16.04 and some change or something like that. Let me look at the email. So that was what it was because that was what it was. I don't know if it was $16.04 or it was $16.74, but it was a one bedroom. It was a unique one bedroom tropical suite. Now with that hotel, when you are a unique member, when you are a, a unique guest, you get access to like different parts. Like they have different eating areas and things like that, that other people who are not um, unique visitors, they don't get to, um, they don't get to, to eat at. So yeah, it was, it was $16.74 even. And that was with the taxes included. So um, they have free flexible cancellation. But the day that I called them, they was like, okay, well, the free flexible cancellation was up to 24 hours. And it did say that. And they said, if, there, if you cancel after that, they're going to charge you one day. They're going to charge you for the first day of stay. Now, the first day of stay was $418. My mom got a two-bedroom suite, which turned out to be just two uh, adjoined rooms, which that was kind of a bummer because she was expecting like a front room and all of that stuff. But you know, they they was it was a little bit of false advertisement going on. I ain't gonna lie, it was a little bit of false advertisement going on when it came to that two bedroom. That's probably why if um when when we went on the site, once she booked that two bedroom, we could not find it anymore on the page on the site page. So my mom ended up paying like I think her room was like twenty two. 25 something like that but it wasn't it wasn't a unique um she wasn't a unique guest it was just like a i guess like a regular room or whatever i don't know so that's how much the rooms cost so i had it out like i was like okay you know we had excursions planned out today um they went to atv riding and stuff like that and so when i talked to them they said they had a really good time and then on Tuesday tomorrow yeah Tuesday they're going uh scuba dive not scuba diving snorkeling so I'm sure they're gonna have a nice time doing that as well so I was um I had a I was really looking forward to making memories with my son so and because I couldn't do that I just was like well you know I, I don't want to go at all so we've been here since Saturday just uh me, me and my baby chilling and when I tell y'all He do not be really trying to deal with me. Like, he he do be trying to, like, he'll come and check on me and stuff like that. But my baby on PS5 with his family. And that's what he be wanting to do. So, he like, you know, I, I want to be on my PS5 with my family. I don't want to, no. Nah, we can watch a movie later on. But right now, I'm going to go, I'm going to go be on my PS5. So, that's what he's been doing. So, I pretty much just been down here chilling. I've been upstairs um, doing stuff. I have not unpacked because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Um, I am going to unpack. This room looks like a tornado went through it. Like a literal tornado went through it. Like I said, the only space that I cleaned off was like the front part. Not the front part where they look. The couch area that I'm sitting on now is because I don't want my baby to, you know, if he wanted to come down here, I wanted him to have the option to be down here. Um, I'm like every day I've swept already and stuff like that. But it's like every day I'm finding like little strands of like leftover weave from the, like, like leftover braid in here. And this shit is blowing me because I'm like, where is all of this excess hair coming from? I've swept this floor like two or three times. And every time when I tell y'all it's just excess hair, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's one thing that I do not like about when I have to braid my hair is because it be hair everywhere. Sad note, y'all. So y'all know I told y'all that I had my, my beard trimmer because I was, you know, I was going to um clean up um my big purr, you know, because I was gonna clean up, you know, uh, Miss Missy. So I ain't really got no name for her, y'all. So we just gonna uh I just had a flashback, my bad. <laughs> my bed because somebody had a name for her so you know <laughs> not for her but listen 
y'all getting in my business, okay? You getting in my business a little bit. It was, it, it was like a, it's like a DN. No, stop. Because we're not doing that. We're not. We're not doing that. I had a bit of a flashback. But anywho, so I wanted to get her together. Now, when I tell y'all I'm never going back to a raise, and I'm, I'm going to say this. Okay, so that's for, um, I'm using the, the trimmers for Miss, for like, you know, what, what we going for, for Missy? We're going to call her Missy. We're going to call her Missy. So I'm using the, the trimmer for Missy, but like for the, for the rest of the parts, I use just like the razor because I'm like, I don't want to, it's just the thought of having a beard trimmer in different parts. I just, it don't, it's giving unsanitary. So I didn't want to do that. So, um, that's just, that beard trimmer is just solely for the front. The armpits back, I'll use separate razors for that. So, I like to use the men's razors. I don't have it right now next to me, but I use the men's razors because they for men. So, I know that they're going to clean me up better, and they always do. So, yeah, but when I tell you I'm never going back, I'm never going back. One of my biggest things with shaving is the dread of how long it actually takes for me to shave because um, it's a process. It's a process. Anybody who uses a razor to shave, no, it's a process, especially when you be sitting around and you like, sometimes it, it's a, it's a jungle down there. It's a jungle. Sometimes, you know. So um, when 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 it ain't no action to be got, I be letting I be letting sis uh sis be flying free. So it it be a lot sometimes when I go to shave her it be a lot. But like with the with the trimmers I do recommend if you have if you do not have like beard trimmers I'm gonna put a picture up somewhere of the beard trimmers that I got again just in case um. You didn't catch my last vlog, not, not the, you know, the last vlog, because this is going to be the next vlog, because I missed, I, I ain't miss it, I skipped last week. So, um, I love them, I absolutely love them. So, yeah, I'm going to be proactive today, and I'm going to go, I get all of my music off of SoundCloud, is it? Why am I forgetting everything? I don't know, I believe it, I believe it's SoundCloud. So I get all my music off of SoundCloud. So now I'm gonna go through the process of actually the music that I picked, running it through YouTube, because that is a bit of a process, and then putting them in my good samples folder. So I have a I have two folders on my computer. One is for the samples, and then once the sample gets okay by YouTube, I put it over into my good samples folder. So like when I do my videos, because the way I do my videos is like I'll edit the whole video. I use shortcut to edit my videos. I um it's free. By the way, no, I love free. So I edit all of the video, and so I'll leave the audio part blank until I'm done editing the whole entire video. And then once I'm done editing the whole entire video, I'll go into my good samples folder, and then I know I could pick any of that music out of the good samples folder. And I know that when I upload the whole video to YouTube, it's not gonna be no copyright or nothing because I've already checked it. If I do, like, I don't do, some people run it through YouTube and they're like, well, you know, it'll let you know what part of it got copyright on it. So they're like, sometimes you can like shave that part off and try to run it through YouTube again. I don't do that. If it gets flagged, I, I trash the whole sample because my thing is I don't want to do the whole video, put all the sound in, then I upload the whole video and it says a copyright. And now I have to try to figure out, okay, was it a copyright on this one that I trimmed down? Or was it a copyright on this one that I trimmed down? Or was it a copyright on it? So it's like, nope, I just trashed the whole thing. I, I, I tried to trim it down one time and it was still a copyright on it. So after that, I was like, just I just trashed the whole thing. I know with some people that use SoundCloud that are better um, with it than me when it comes to like being able to trim down a particular sample that has a copyright on certain parts of it but for me i'm not at that point yet so every single piece of music that you see on my or that you hear on my vlog it's all copyright free i check all the music of course before but so like because i got i have put new samples on there i want to run through um my samples now Okay, hey y'all, I actually did want to show y'all how I do the videos on Shotcut. So, I'll go to my folder. Let me make it big. So, I have a folder called 
YouTube video. So then I go into my, this my samples. Oh, can y'all see it? This my samples and then my good samples folder. So I go into my YouTube videos folder and then right here is called music sample checker. So I go in here, wait for shotcut to open up. I'd already downloaded some stuff and I say, okay, cause that file I had actually like deleted a file out of here. This is like a random clip from one of my latest, my last videos. So like this was a sample that I had I don't think that that one passed, so I think I had to take that one out. So you just delete it out. Then I go back to my folder, and I back out. And then I go to my samples folder. And then I just pick this one. This is like uh, the Isley Brothers thing. Sometimes I listen to it before, because if it like sounds too much like it, I don't, I don't even waste my time. So we'll see if that one gonna go. So then what I do is I just take it and then I drag it to my shot cut and then I just pop it in here. Then once I pop it in here, I make sure I move it all the way over. Then I make sure that I save it. Then I go to, let me get, put y'all in there. I know I'm gonna do this there as we talked about that. So then, that's going to be such a fun DIY. So then I go to export. And then just to make sure, I click default. And then I export the file. When I export the file, it's going to export as an MP4. And I just leave it as music sample checker. And then I click save. And then over here, come on. Focus in. I don't know why it's not focusing. It must not be on product showcase. So come on, focus in. It's being petty. But anywho, over here is where it lets you know. Like over here is where it lets you know how long it's. Well, that it over here is where it downloads it. So then I wait for it to download. It's at forty nine per. It's at forty nine percent. Then it goes up, up, up. So now it's done. So now I'm gonna go, I'll minimize this. Then I'll go to my YouTube and then I'm gonna go to create. This is on my YouTube studio. And then I'm gonna do upload videos. That's gonna pop up. Then I'm gonna do select file. So after I go to select file, I'm going to go back to my YouTube videos, then I'm going to click back in my YouTube videos folder, then I'm going to scroll down, and then this is the music sample checker that we just did, then we're going to open it up, and then it's going to upload. So normally, let me turn back around, hold up. Normally when it's like a short video, ooh, hold up, because this too... Normally when it's like a shorter video, my skin look patchy, but I am, my skin is like dry right now. When it's like a, when it's like a music sample thing, it normally don't take that long to upload, but sometimes YouTube be taking all day, so. We'll see, yeah. I'm gonna come back to y'all and see. On oh, side note, I do, when I'm uploading a video to check the video, sometimes, I, in the past, I would start working on a different sample to put a different sample in, but what'll happen is, um, sometimes I'll get a little bit confused, so I'm really like doing that, because one time I forgot which, which song it was, and I was like, is this the song that I just did, another song, and so I ended up doing it twice, and it went through, it was like, oh yeah, this is cool, twice, and I'm like, yeah, I really wasted a little bit of time, so I don't like to do that. So I like to just go and let it upload pretty much through um unless i'm for sure that i know what the other song is gonna be i'll be paranoid because i'm like okay it's uploading this mp4 but like if i do another one and i save it again over this one is it gonna interfere with the upload i don't know so i need to take no chances so yeah so i'm 
so i'll be back with you guys once this upload and we'll see whether or not it's gonna go into the good samples or if it's gonna go into the trash hey y'all so just coming back real quick the video clip the sound clip that we put in is processing in hd but then look what happened so it's a check so i don't even wait for it to go like all the way through with like processing and everything once i see the check i just exit out and then i'll put in a new sample so yeah so that's how it is i'm not gonna do another sample to try to find one that's gonna actually work um it's trial and error for the most part it kind of sucks especially when you find like a good sample that you're like oh yeah this probably should go through but then it don't so you just have to like scrap it but yeah so this is how i do it and sometimes the check will go it'll be fine and it won't be no issues but if it is a check like this just don't even um i, I don't even bother with it and also it's been times where hold on let me turn y'all around and also it's been times where i have been doing the video and it went to so now i say checks complete copyright protected content file cuts because we already know it's a real check isn't it times where i've been doing the i put a video in and it'll go through the uploading and it won't be no issues but then when it goes to processing a check will come up so don't just assume that it's gonna be the the video is gonna the sound sample is gonna be okay just because through the uploading it, a check didn't get found let it run through the whole process because a lot of times once it's processing that check will come up so yeah so that's it and yeah my battery's about to die so i'll see you guys later hey y'all so it is wednesday um what time is it it's 8 26 i need to charge my phone it's 8 26 p.m so mother nature came rap tap tapping on my uterus yesterday so i've been kind of down for the count um today is the day that everybody gets back from the trip but i have to the flight comes in like later on tonight well pretty much like early tomorrow like one ish 1 a.m ish so i just got a little bit more time to just kind of just like chill um <clears throat> i've been going back and forth with my content like i love vlogging i really truly do i do get a lot of enjoyment out of actually being able to like play the week back and just like to see the experience that i've had um the past week but a part of me is like that's cool but then a part of me wants to incorporate more into my channel um I want to give more value, if you will. Not that, you know, hold up, because I'm trying to, okay, this is comfortable for me. Not like just vlogging doesn't give value, but I, I really, there's so many ideas that I have in my mind about what I want to offer you guys. I, the piece that I have now, I didn't always have. And going through, going through um, my spiritual journey has really brought me to such a place of peace and comfort and understanding. I feel more knowledgeable um, when it comes to myself and a lot of my triggers. Don't get me wrong; sometimes I still will find a trigger. Like, hold up, let's 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 do some work on that. But I really want to help other people that might be or that are going through their own spiritual journey or just journeying through life i want to add value in those ways i've been going back and forth on whether or not i should even talk about it because sometimes it's just like you know don't talk about it just do it but i really do feel like that's something that i am going to take the time out to incorporate into my channel because it's something that's very important to me i find that over the past couple of years it took me so long to get to this space to get out of my ego to understand that a lot of things a lot of issues and problems 
that were going on in my life that I created. It's so easy to put off the negative parts on somebody else because it's always easier to do that than to take accountability for yourself. And so I feel like dealing with that or working through that shadow work has really put me in such a positive and peaceful place when you finally are able to, you know, step outside of your self more and not, you know, not take things so personally. I, I'm a very um sensitive person and I didn't always come off like that. I had a very hard exterior, but on the interior, I was very sensitive. That's life will make you like that, unfortunately. So because I'm not in that space anymore and because I am so um, deliberate about my peace and having my peace and keeping my peace and not allowing anybody else to disturb my peace, I feel like it's a lot of people in the world who um, went through what I went through or going through what I'm going through or are in the space that I'm at now. And I just want to kind of just add value in that way through my experiences i'm not coming from a place of like i'm going to talk about some stuff that i haven't gone through like no i don't i don't want to do that like i want to come from the place where i, I have experience in it my throughout my life like i was known as like being mean and not like a mean girl like I wasn't not like a mean girl I wasn't mean to other people like my my demeanor was like don't mess with me but if you talk to me I'm a very personable person I'm never I'm not a bully never was a bully like nothing like that but like people are like you know I can Candace gonna say Candace she's not with it She's not with the shits. I wasn't that person that um, considered your feelings when it was something that I didn't want. And it's like, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm not doing it. You can't make me do that. And there are so many different ways. What I've learned um, is that there are so many different ways to um, say no without being nasty. And it took some time for me to learn that. So it's like I, I was labeled as like having a smart mouth um having like a mean um demeanor which I don't feel like is bad to an extent because I wasn't maybe I was mean to people but I wasn't like a bully about it It was just like no I don't want to be your friend and I'm I'm still that way like I don't like um I don't like having a lot of people in my circle I don't like having a lot of friends I don't I don't want like associates and things like that. Like I feel like I'm not going to say I don't want associates. Like I don't, I don't have any associates right now. It's like, you're either a friend or you're not. And that's just kind of like the spot that I've been in. And I feel like I do need to open myself up more to that because I know that through our life, um, as opportunities will arise, you will meet people who might not necessarily fit into the friends category, but they'll fit into the associates category. And that's just fine as well. So I just feel like I've grown so much over um, these last couple of years, just knowing my worth and understanding that I settled for a lot because I guess because that's what I felt like I deserved. I felt like it wasn't. And not so much that I felt like that was what I deserved, but like I felt like it wasn't that bad. It was just like, okay, well, you know, this is what I want, so I'm cool with this. And that's okay to a certain extent, but when you look back and you realize that you could have had more and you just kind of like settled, I'm so... um anti-settling I've always been that way well I thought I was always that way but then when I look back I'm like you really did you settled on with a lot of stuff so it's just I have so many different ideas in my mind that are broader than 
just um, weekly vlogs. And I'll still do the weekly vlogs, but I do want to start incorporating other things where I can add more value. Do I like this angle? This is, this is a good angle. Yeah, I'm hot. It's... I got this, it don't help that I got this damn blanket on, but without this blanket, no, you, it ain't, don't do that. So, yeah, I just wanted to come to y'all real quick because I'm like, I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I just was not, I wasn't, I was so freaking tired yesterday. My cycle is early, you guys, like a couple of days early. I know it's TMI for any guys that are watching before the girlies, like, it's early, like not super early, but like three days, three, four days early. I'm longer than that. Cause last month it was like the 22nd. It was the, like the 16th. What's happening? So, um, sometimes my cycle just does what it wants to do. And then sometimes it'll, it'll be like give or take a week. So I don't really trip on it, but I was like, I was really down for the count. And like today is like the first day and I'm still pretty down for the count. But I wanted to get back into being more consistent throughout my week. Like I've been doing like a couple days and I'm kind of cool with that. I'm not going to press myself to like vlog every single day. I'm going to vlog um, when I vlog, you know, and I feel like doing it that way is going to help me to be able to give you actual good content instead of me just like picking up the camera and it's like I need to vlog something I need to vlog anything it's like no like I want to do something where when I'm vlogging it like it, it makes sense like okay I, I get why you're vlogging so I want to do I'm gonna do vlogmas so I do want to start um prepping vlogging daily just in preparation for that so no I'm working my way up. Y'all, I'm working my way up. So, yeah. Um, so, just wanted to come to you guys real quick about that. Um, nothing much really going on right now. I might vlog a little bit in the car on the way to the airport. Depending on how I feel. It's going to be dark. So, maybe not. Maybe not. And by the time I get back, it'll be the next day. So, um, I did get my new tripod that I was telling you guys about. So, I'll probably unbox that for you guys tomorrow on um thursday i took the trash out because the trash man came today and when i tell you guys i've been feeling so down and out the trash cans are still outside and it is 8 37 so i definitely gotta bring those in like when i tell y'all mother nature be having me a chokehold like a chokehold but i i complaining i ain't complaining i ain't complaining mother n i ain't complaining i ain't complaining okay because Pads over pampers, you know, that's, that's what we say. Pads over pampers, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to rest up. I need to do a little bit of cleaning because I like for when anybody goes on vacation, like, and they come back, I do like for the house to be clean because you leave, you're, you leave and you go out of town and you go out of town and stay at a hotel and the hotel is very clean and can clean your room every day and stuff like that. Then you come back home and it's junky. So I just kind of like to clean up the house so that it looks um, clean. Like, you know, just straighten up. It's not dirty or anything, but just like straightening up and just folding up a blanket or here or there that I, when I set upstairs on a couch or whatever, that I might not have folded up. Just kind of putting things back in order. Um, I brought the suitcases in and the, the suitcase is just sitting out. I still got to unpack that stuff, but it's definitely not going to happen today. And it definitely probably will not happen tomorrow. I got to wait until, um, my back stop talking to me. So as long as my, um, back is in a radiating pain mode, I'm not, I'm not dealing with no, no pack luggage. I'm just not. Trying to start vlogging earlier and earlier. My son's going to be going back to school soon. So that's going to help me get back on schedule. I'm still dealing with insomnia. I went to bed at 6 o'clock today. Shit sucked. So um, it was more like 7. It was more like 7. It was the sun was out and it was out, out. So that sucked. So I know that once my... 
once my son starts back at school, I'll be able to get back on the schedule because I'm going to end up being like on his schedule more because I know I have to get up. Like I drive him to school. The school's only, the school's very close, but, um, I don't trust, I don't trust school bus drivers. That's just me. I'm not ready yet. And that's it. This is nothing against people that put their kids on a school bus. I just, I don't have, I'm, I'm going to drive them. I'm going to drive them. I'm going to drive them. So, I'm looking forward to being on some type of schedule. I have to start getting him ready for schedule for his schedule. Have I bought school supplies? No. We got to go do that, y'all. Have I bought him school shoes? No. We got to do that, y'all. Have I bought him school pit? No. We got to do that, y'all. I got like another week or so to get this all together and then Mother Nature want to come and, and like challenging me. And you know what? Challenge accepted because I, I still got stuff to do. So we just chilled this entire week. My son tomorrowed me all the way until today. It was so many things that I was like, okay, yeah, we could do this. We could do that. He said, can we do it tomorrow? Can we do it? That's, that's my favorite day. Um, I'm like, let me find out that you're turning into an introvert. And I'm not really going to be bad at that because he has gone from like, can we go here? Can we go here? And I'm like, sure, we can go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. And then he's now he's like, can we do it tomorrow? And it's not even the PS5. He's just like, I just want to chill in my room. I just want to, you know, chill and just do anything other than leaving the house. And I'm like, don't threaten me with a good time. So, yeah, so we've just been we've just been chilling. I checked in with him to make sure that, you know, he enjoyed his time. And he's like, yeah, I did everything that I wanted to do. Um, we didn't get to go on the trip for the summer. But like I said, that'll be rescheduled for another time. So me and his dad is going to get his passport and everything together. So we don't have to worry about that. And so, yeah, for real this time, you guys. So I'll see you guys on another day. I'm probably about to make me another cup of tea and just chill out for a little bit until it's time to get on the road. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for some unboxing. Hey y'all, so it's Saturday. I'm thinking about starting a TikTok. Like I have a TikTok account, but I don't have anything on my TikTok. Because I just really thought about something. I think about a lot of stuff and I don't ever speak on it. But it's really true that until we do it, nobody is interested in doing it. Um, we, 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 we did the Black Lives Matter. And then it was All Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, Latina Lives Matter, Asian Lives Matter. We say don't call us the N-word. Then it's don't call us cracker. Don't call us whatever, uh, like all the other racial slurs. Don't say spaz. It's like we legit get proof on a daily basis. It's we don't like your big butts, but then back in the day, white women would wear petticoats to make their butts look bigger to white people and all other races getting BBLs, including black people. But everybody else started getting BBLs. It's just, we get constant proof that we are the originators and the voice for everything. And, and we, keep, we keep sleeping on ourselves. I just, I feel like that's just like a testament to how mentally depraved they've made sure that we are. We're literally hated by all and also hated by our peers. We've also been demonized by all for the color of our skin and then we demonize 
different levels of skin complexions within our own community. It's an endless cycle and circle of sickness, but yet and still, we are the originators of a lot of voices that are out here now. It's kind of spooky when you think about how much stuff when we said it first, it was like, shut up. And then other people decided to jump on the bandwagon. It's like, if they can do it, we can do it too. But we've been doing it and we've been telling you we've been doing it. You know what else I think is just so devilish and demented? They had a bunch of slaves build a huge house a bunch of black slaves build a huge house and then they called it the white house i feel like the mental torment is never ending but as long as we continue to perpetuate it and feed into it with the whole like light skin versus dark skin big butt versus little butt when in actuality men have repeatedly told us that they don't care that's not a end all be all for men I kind of feel like at some point the the black community and as far as like black women we really pit ourselves against one another and that's what they wanted us to do that's what they wanted us to do yeah so i'm just waking up it is i've been up about an hour it's five o'clock in the evening because I became extremely fatigued in the middle of the day and I slept from 5 o'clock to 11 p.m. And then I was up from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. And then I slept from 9 a.m. to about 3 p.m. So, this is, what is this? And Keurig tea, cinnamon apple. Is it cinnamon? Yeah, cinnamon apple. And I put three capfuls of apple cider vinegar and three squeezes of lemon juice. It's crazy. You get used to it. I added a little bit of honey. I don't taste it one bit. So, yeah. um, Nothing much going on today. As far as I know, I spent a lot of time getting out of the bed and sitting on the couch in my room just to get out of the bed. Because if I stay in the bed, I'm going to sleep all day. My sleep schedule is completely fucked at this point. I have some shit to do Monday and I am going to try to get myself back on a sleep schedule. My room still looks a mess. I might save it to Sunday reset. I think I'm going to do a little bit of folding today because I just cannot. It's three baskets. Well, one basket is folded and just nothing has been put up. The other two baskets are clean clothes. Oh, and I also have a load in the dryer as well. So three loads of clean clothes that have not been put up. Do I feel bad about it? No, I don't because they're clean. Will they get done? Yeah. They will. But yeah. I'm thinking about I, I I'm thinking about starting to post on my TikTok. I really am. I have I, I wanna talk to y'all. More than just on here. Once I start posting, I'll I'll tell you guys what I post, but I'm just you know it's, it hasn't happened today hasn't happened yet it might happen today it could happen today it just hasn't happened right now so yeah um i still haven't opened up my camera oh 
we could do that. Let, let's open up the camera. That's the least I could do. So this is the camera right here. So, um, the tripod that I have now, I'm gonna lift it all the way up. Then I'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison. This tripod, I believe, is like, it's not, this one is not quite six feet. I don't believe, I don't believe it is. But this one, it's alleging that it's professional photog uh, photo what is it? Photographic equipment. This is what they're saying. This is from the brand King Joy. I got it off of Amazon. So this is how tall is this? I believe they said it was 75 inches tall. Which I need that. I think it's like six something. So, let's open the box out. It comes in this. It's pretty com compact to be as tall as they said it's going to be. So, it comes in this little handy dandy holding case. I appreciate that. So, it has a zipper and... So, we got this with this hold up i don't know what this vlog is going to be looking like it's, it feels like it's going to be looking like a lot on the couch to me and so then we have this part and then we have oh is this for a phone i appreciate this oh and then it even has like a little now i didn't even see this on the damn site it has like a little remote control, which is good because my remote control for my my UBZ tripod broke. So it got like a little remote control that you can sync up. And we got one of them little salt packets in it. Is that everything? Yeah. So I'm really most concerned about, I'm most interested in the height. I like the packaging. I really do. I don't know how to, I don't know how to use this at all. Oh, look at that. Am I, am I becoming official? I don't know how to open this. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you, it slides up like this. And then when you want to open it, you just open it like that and it stays down. So it has like four clamps. One, two, three, four on each side. It got three legs. These legs seem to rotate. I guess they they move with whatever they need to move with. I don't know. So all I really want to do right now is just extend it to the highest. Because see, my issue has been with this other tripod, when I am standing up, the tripod is not um it's not tall enough for me so i end up having to pull the tripod all the way back farther from me when i'm doing my videos than i would like just so that it can give me the height that i need so i saw this on amazon I'm gonna check and see how much I paid for this. I if I remember, oh god damn! I remember it being this how guys feel with me. They're like, god damn, long ass legs. Um, I believe I remember it being like thirty six buck, thirty six bucks. I want to say. Hold up. This is the I don't want to stand up in me. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Let me stop fucking with it. Oh, I think it's to make that time. Wait a minute, you guys. So then it has like a little, this is sticky. Why is it sticky? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to add that part yet. Because we're just looking at the height right now. I'll add all these other pieces later. And then I'll take a picture and like put it in there. Then it shows you the directions and all of that. So, 
So, you guys know I'm doing a DIY with my stairs, so hush it up. Those are my house shoes that I decided I don't want anymore. But yeah, they're still here. So, this is my original tripod. It did what it needed to do. This is my new tripod. Do you guys see the difference? Bow all the way out. So the one over the basket is the new one. And I'm loving it. I know right now it's going to be eye level and I can have it close. To, oh, I, I love it. I love it. W wait on these stairs, you guys, because they're going to be so fire. I really feel like this camera angle is aging me. And I don't like that. Real quick, y'all, real quick. I know I said I was going to do something else, but real quick. Look at this. So this piece came with it. Do you know that they, and I don't even know which way it go. I guess it will go this way. Do you know that this clip, they give you a clip and you can use it vertically? This is a, a at, what is this? It's a, this is a Galaxy 2120 20 Note. It's a new Note out. This is the Note before it. I think this is a 21 or something like that. I have to look at the thing. So you can have it vertically on a tripod. And then they also you flip it on the back and you can have it up you guys hold up i'm excited about this and you guys can have it horizontally it's the it's the flexibility of it it's the flexibility of it don't mind the, don't mind the, uh the the loudness that's my mom talking to the dog she, i told i told what i said out of all the dogs that my brother could have picked up when he adopted a dog out of all the dogs he could have adopted he managed to find the one dog with the human personality she's not a husky but she's given very much husky she's very lippy very lippy so i think that's hilarious because my mom literally be arguing with her and she'd be arguing back with her and she's still a puppy she's like five months a mess a mess she be stressing my mom out stressing her out it's crazy so yeah you guys i'm gonna put the rest together i figured out where this where the stick thing goes because did i have to read the directions mm -hmm. yeah am i ashamed of that no i'm not so they gave like a little silver plate thing i don't know if y'all can see the little silver plate thing i put that on there and then you just screw this in because now now i i, I am like yeah this really is professional photographic. What does it say? Yeah. This really is professional photographic equipment, you guys. This got some weight to it and everything. So, yeah. So, I'm, a, I'm about to take some pictures with this. I'm going to put it together and figure out how to, uh, how to work it. I'm excited, you guys. So, then they also have, real quick, they have this little piece that goes at the bottom of the camera. And at first, when I first saw it, the screw thing was low like this. And I was like, shit, this is not going to fit on my camera. Come on now. I ain't got product showcase on. There we go. I'm like, oh, this is too low. Let me get out the frame. It's not going to fit. But it has like a little thing on the bottom. And you can screw it up. And it goes like that. And then it definitely fits. I already tried to screw it on. So I'm excited. Ah, I'm excited, you guys. So wait, wait. So I'm going to put it together. And then I'm going to take a picture. So. I'll be back for real, for real, for real. I'm going to be back because I'm about to put this all together. I'm super excited. I'll be back. Jiggy that music. Jiggy that music. Jiggy that music. You already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. SPF. 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 Come on. Yeah. But I, 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 I can't help it. I want you. You, 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 you,
this. Did y'all see it, you guys? I'm legit like so happy. So real quick, this part has like a little pushy button here. I guess it's for like a different camera. I don't know if it was really made for my camera, but it has like this little pushy button here that makes it where I gotta take it off the thing and screw it in. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape there and just tape that, this springy part down. I guess in other cameras it'll fit in there to like extra secure it. But I'm gonna put I'm gonna tape that down so that I could just leave this on the tripod and then just screw my camera on. But yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Let me finish my tea.